as well as our political leaders behind me, is because I've seen the devastating effects of what a straight bullet can do to a community. I've seen the devastating effects of what a straight bullet can do to a home, but more so what it can do to one of our children on these very streets of Inglewood. I saw that as a community member, but I saw it firsthand as a police officer. But I've also seen our men and women in uniform struggle to find the bullets, to find the guns, and to find the people behind those senseless acts of violence at the end of the day. This, this technology goes into all 58 manufacturers. Right? The manufacturers themselves aren't going to have one line only for Illinois and one line for 49 other states. This will be basically a mandate. And people won't stop buying bullets because they're barcodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they won't. Because, they, you know, and hopefully that we, we can say, Mr. Smith, the five-year-old's head that bought. Explain that, please. Now, if you're a guy that had your bullets stolen, you're going to make a police report. You do it for a TV. Why wouldn't you do it for that? But if you keep making a police report every other week, then either you're part of the problem or you have a problem. I'm going to turn it over for final remarks to Representative Smith. joining us here today as we introduce this new legislation to covert bullets, the serial codes on them so that we can track them back to where they came from. Thank you to all my wonderful speakers who shared all of my sentiments uh, exactly and I look forward to continuing to work with all of them and all of you as we work to build up our But this is another tool in the toolbox to curtail the havoc that's going on in our community. We are, see, no one ever asked us what it is that we want to make our community safer or better for our children. No one ever asked. And so as soon as we come up with a new tool that we want, it has to be criticized. I don't know how anything is going to work. But the things that has been out there, we do know it has not worked. So why not try something new? And as far as my colleagues down the street, yeah. Anything else? Gentlemen, thank you. Yes, sir. You said mandated. And it seems like you indicated mandated for the entire country. Any community of their resources, the people there are not like the people up here. What I mean by that is, they're concerned about their lives every day, feeding their families. They are going to the University of Chicago crime lab trying to figure out X, Y, Z. So, the way you make a change is that you hit people in their pocket. And that's what ammo coding is going to do. Ammo coding has said we're going to barcode these bullets so that whoever sells them, it can be traced back to them. Look, everybody, arms dealing is a worldwide industry. Other people, other forces that are going to fight this. Forget about the reasons they're showing up to the game and they're blocking the end zone. All right? Forget about all the reasons. You believe in this? If somebody's trying to stop it, let's get them out the way. So it could be a win-win for everybody. Let's work politically. Let's work community-wise. Let's work economically. He has given us an incredible tool, and we can make this happen.